We are in Microsoft Excel 2013. I'm going to show you your border options. Now, under the Home tab, there is an icon for borders that you can use. And there's all different types of options here. So if we want, we could start with the bottom border. If we hit Enter, we can see what that did. And you can see we have a border along the bottom now. Highlight our cell again. Click on the drop down. We can choose the top border. And you can see it just added to our bottom border. If you click it again, we can choose a lot of different types of borders. Also, we'll choose all borders. So you can see all the borders all the way around the cell. If we want, we can clear everything by choosing no border. So now the borders are gone. So we've got some other options as well that might be interesting, such as the thick bottom border, top and bottom border. So there's some combinations bottom double border so you can see the it looks like two lines there now we can also draw a border so if you draw a border it draws it wherever the line shows and that's different from the draw border grid which fills in every cell every line that you touch so if you want to cover a lot of areas and that would be the way to go. All right, so if we want to clear all that, we can highlight all of it and then choose no border. So let's go back to our single cell and let's look at our other options. So erase border will erase individual border lines instead of clearing everything. You can also do line color. So by default, it's black. But if you want, we can do a different color. So we've got orange now. Or red. Depends on, depends on what you see. All right. So let's go back to our lines here. We've already got line color. Now we've got line style. So if you want to do a thicker border, then you can choose a thicker one. Or you can choose one with the broken lines in it or double lines, whatever it is that you'd like. All right, so now we have more borders. And you can see that there's all different kinds of, of borders here. You can even do diagonal ones if you'd like. There's different uh, combinations that you can do. You can change the thickness once again. And you can choose uh, none to clear everything out. So that's Borders with Microsoft Excel 2013.